Hey, this is Randy Belker with uh, Technophobics Anonymous, and today we're going to be talking just a little bit about um, how people make money on the internet. Uh, in other words, the kinds of advertising that you're going to run across as you're out surfing the internet. Uh, this will help you to be able to find the advertising that you're looking for and also give you a, a heads up to be aware of what's happening when you're looking at different ads. Uh, let's go ahead and, and pop in to some uh, common websites and, and I'll just kind of talk you through some of this. Uh, here we're at the Amazon.com website. Uh, now we know what they do at Amazon.com. They sell stuff. All right? and so they're going to they're gonna put a bunch of information about all of these different uh, books that they're selling or products that they're selling. Uh, look at this one, The American Lion, Andrew Jackson. Um, I click on that, it's going to give me a lot of information about that. I can browse through information about this book. A right? bunch of information here, but they're going to make money when I buy this book. Right? Um, when I pull down and look at it, there's eight of them that are used for sale. There's three collectible editions. There's 61 that are new from $14. And then if you want to buy it straight from Amazon, it's going to cost $18. Now, I can just add this straight to my shopping cart, be on my way, uh, away I go. Um, but it's going to, if I want to know more information about this book, I can click, see what it says up here, click to look inside. I can see the front cover, the table of contents, the first page. I can look at the index. I can look at, surprise me, it's going to give me a few pages inside that I can read, uh, just from some arbitrary spot. Okay, so I can find out a lot about a book before I even buy it. It's, it's much better than going into a bookstore and browsing around. You can do it right here uh, on any book ever made, basically. Um, and then you're going to go down and you'll be able to look further. You're going to get editorials, reviews of the book. You know, how people liked it, how big it is, how much it weighs, all kinds of, you know, just information about this book. And so Amazon's going to do everything they can to give you all the information that they can about this book to try and convince you that this is the book you want to buy. Um, <clears throat> you can put it on a wish list down here on the right. Um, you know, But it's pretty straightforward what's happening at Amazon. They're a store. They're trying to sell stuff. Uh, if you go to another website, it may not be quite so obvious what's happening. Look over here at uh, weather.com. <clears throat> right? You're going to put in your zip code of wherever it is, and they're going to give you your weather uh, you know, the, for the next 10 days or five. How do they make money? on their website. All right? You see, um, <clears throat> basically what's going to happen is, uh, as you look down uh, and you click on one of the options, like uh, there is uh, Oregon River flooding. Right? I want to find some information about that, so I'll pop that up. Um, what's happening is over in the right hand corner, here's an ad. Now people are paying the Weather Channel for this ad to pop up. Right, and they're, what are they trying to sell here? Some kind of raw beauty uh, makeup or something like that. If you click on this button, uh, you know they're going to they're going to make a sale. They're going to sell some of this makeup, this raw beauty makeup. And so these people pay um, weather.com in order to show this ad on their site. And so this is how weather dot or the weather weather.com uh, the weather channel is making money. Um, <clears throat> Let's see if we can find other ways that they're making money. The other thing that we see on uh, weather.com on their homepage, let's click on down here, you'll see it's called Sponsored Listings by Google. It's all these that are down here. Again, now these are ads. If you click on any of these buttons right here because you're interested in them, um, someone is going to be paying a little bit of money, well Google will pay a little bit of money to weather.com because you're clicking on the ad that's on their site. And this company right here, whoever it is, looks like this one is Comcast, they're going to be paying Google um, for being able to put their ad up there. And uh, so this is, these are called AdWords. Right? And this is how a lot of sites are, make a little bit of money. Um, but these are sponsored. You have to understand that people are paying for the right to have uh, these little ads uh, where you can click on them and, and people are paying to have them there and people will make money uh, when you click on them. It's going to cost somebody money when you click on them. Um, just so you know what it is. Many of the other ones are free, many of the other links are free links, but uh, these right here are actually going to cost money. 
All right, the next thing that I'm going to be going to do is go and uh, open up a new uh, page and do a little search. And see what's happening here on the on our front page on the new tab that I just clicked on. Um, I'm starting to get my most visited websites, and they're starting to put them up here in a visual form. All right, uh, what I'm going to search is I'm going to search uh, for something like um, a Canon Rebel. Now that's a type of a camera. And so I'll go ahead and search in there. Uh, <clears throat> now, these are all the replies that, um, that Google sends back. Um, over on the right-hand side, all of these over here, see where it says sponsored links? All of these are AdWords, and people are paying to have their ads on this side of the page. Uh, I don't want everything, but, but all of these over on this side are our advertisements. If you click on any of these, somebody is going to be making money, someone is going to be paying money. All right? Now, uh, that's what they want you to do. They want you to click on it. They want to get you interested. Uh, but they are, you know, they're going to expect you to buy something if you click on it. Well, obviously, you don't have to, but they're going to do everything they can to, to make it worth your while to buy something. Uh, <clears throat> the this one up top as well is a sponsored link, the very top of it. So see where this is right here? This as well is being paid for. It's a sponsored link. Now all of these are on the left-hand side from here down. These are just actual uh, search engine optimization type. Uh, they're, they're free. All right? Nobody's paying for them to be here. Google's gone out, searched the whole internet, found what it thinks is the, are the most relevant websites dealing with Canon Rebel, um, and nobody's getting paid anything. So a lot of times, uh, people are still going to be trying to sell things over here, but they're not paying money to get in front of your face. Uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and click on one of these on the side, so we'll see what it looks like. Oh, if I want to see more ads all right, over on the side, I can go down to the bottom and I'll click More Sponsored Links. We'll see how many of them. For the Canon Rebel, oh, man, there's hundreds of people that are paying money to put these little ads. All right, this is the first page of the ads. I want to go to the second page of the ads. I'll click here, and you'll see the next level of them. Now, just uh, looking at I'll go to the third page of these ads. All right? Look, at here's a Canon Rebel for $606. They're advertising that. All right? um, look at this one down here. Uh, here's one that is selling for uh, $330. Okay, uh, that's almost a $300 discount between the two ads. Now, you, you understand, here's one selling for $210, all right, a Canon Rebel. Um, uh, even, even better, here's one for $184. Okay, so the prices can radically, dramatically be different, uh, up to a $400 difference in these different ads that you have. And you can just keep on clicking through if you're interested, but know that people are paying to have these ads up there. Um, <clears throat> when you go to a website that is just an information website, a lot of times they'll have AdWords on the sides. If you click on it, they'll make a, a few pennies um, because you clicked on that ad while you were at their uh, website. Um, you have to be careful. Most of the websites people are going to, they're, they're trying to sell something. Right? They're trying to monetize their website in some way. Um, <clears throat> and so. Uh, I don't say be on your guard as you're out there surfing and searching, but understand that people are trying to make money off the websites that they have. Now, many people are happy to give away a lot of free content, all right? and, and many of them have no strings attached. Those are the ones you're going to want to uh, be drawn to because there's a lot of good content that is being given away for free out there. So uh, good luck as you're out there looking, sorting through, finding the, uh, the diamonds amongst a lot of other uh, stuff that you may be finding as well. Um, <clears throat> all right, we'll see you next time.